Hi everyone, Wonia Thibault here, and it is Thursday, March 19th. It is spring equinox today, a beautiful day, a day of balance between the light and the dark, equal hours of day and night today. And the spring equinox is the tipping towards the light, which is a really beautiful thing to think about right now because, you know, we're experiencing some rough times in the world and I just wanna give folks the hope that it is equinox and things change and we're moving into the season of abundance. And isn't that a beautiful thing to keep in mind while we're weathering the storm of the coronavirus? So I wanted to film this because I came out of the very, very rural homestead and tiny little town where I was sheltering for right now to help my mama get ready to be as set up as possible for the coronavirus. So, you know, I put out a video last week about the importance of empowering with skills to do for yourself rather than like prepping and hoarding. And what I meant by that prepping was the idea of like hoarding resources and isolating yourself from the world and guarding all of your stuff with your stash of guns and ammo, <laughs> which, you know, is a pretty extreme thing. However, I, I want to emphasize the difference I see between wise preparing and like the prepping philosophy. And, you know, just make sure that we're all doing what we can to be as prepared as possible, to be self-sufficient for as long as we need to be so that we can keep ourselves safe from contacting the virus and keep from being out in the mix as possible vectors spreading the virus more. So, my mom is 77, she's in the higher risk category, and I want to do everything I can to get her as set up as possible so she doesn't feel a need to go out for what might be weeks or even months, who knows. So I'm, I'm, you know, we're looking at her pantries, we're thinking about what makes sense in her small space in order to, to stock up not hoarding, not, you know, going crazy and stockpiling toilet paper and, you know, all kinds of goods, because that's, that's creating these real big shortages so that people can't get their basic needs, right? When people go and hoard and buy way more than they need from a fear-based place rather than wise preparations, it's hurting everyone. So here are the things that I am helping her to do and advising. So when you're thinking about stocking up, you want to make sure that you are going to be Prioritizing those things that are really good nutrition, high nutritive value. Now, often, you know, we hear so much about avoiding fat and avoiding rich foods and that kind of thing. And, you know, when we have the capacity to get whatever we want all of the time, for sure, that's why it's focusing on fresh fruits and vegetables and whole foods and all that. That said, I'm suggesting that she think about stocking up on higher calorie items because in times of shortages, that makes a big difference. Not all food is, is created equal, right? So things that have good vital nutrition and a little higher fat and protein content are gonna really help keep your system well so that you are as vital and robust as possible and as proof against disease organisms as you can possibly be. So fresh fruits and vegetables, yes, but not the things you would normally think of necessarily because some of those just don't store that well. So I'm, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get her several heads of cabbage because lettuce has a lot of water, it has nutrition for sure, but not that much, and it goes bad fast. Things like cabbage are great because they keep really well long-term. They have a lot of nutrition and they're really densely packed. Think about the airspace and the water in a head of lettuce versus a head of cabbage that takes about the same size, way more food value. So other things with high food value with a lot of storage capacity, things like winter squash, especially the really dark orange meat ones, those are really high in vitamin A, and vitamin A is really helpful for your immune system and particularly for viruses. So great to have on hand. Sweet potatoes, all of the orange fleshed vegetables are gonna have what you need to give you a lot of vitamin A. Carrots, another bright orange, long-term storage thing. Um, also be thinking about things like having onions and garlic on hand, because again, you know, we hear about the health benefits of garlic, right? Those are gonna be really good for helping your system fight off viruses should they come your way, and they last a long time, 
and they have a lot of nutritive value, so really good to have on hand. Um, potatoes, similar, um, you know, thinking about things in your in your refrigerator and freezer that you want to have keep cold that have high food value. So like cheeses you know a lot of a lot of minerals a lot of calciums in there and a lot of fat and a lot of protein really dense high food food value for small space so what you don't necessarily want to be taking up that space with is things like breads that are you know especially white bread that's empty calories a lot of air space and not doing much for you actually hard for your body to process and taking nutrition out of your system rather than putting it in so i'm a big fan of you know grass fed or wild or pasture raised meats and you know bone broths and healthy fats all of those things with really high nutritive value that really keep your system robust and healthy. That's what we're after right now. Also thinking about, you know, dry goods in terms of some bulk beans, bulk grains, that kind of thing. Seeds are really good to have on hand. And um, again, same high protein, high fat, high food value for small space. And also something I really recommend to think about is if you're in a position where it's hard to get out for fresh foods and obviously fresh foods are good for us, keep us healthy, think about a sprout garden. See if you can find, order online and have delivered things like alfalfa sprouts or alfalfa seeds, mustard seeds, broccoli seeds. Um, people also sprout sunflower. They need to have the whole shell in order to be able to sprout them. Whole buckwheat with the shell on. These are different than the ones that you would buy as grains to eat, but things that you can actually grow in a windowsill if you have a little bit of light that are going to be giving you chlorophyll and good nutrition. Awesome way to keep yourself well if you're in a position where going out to the store might not be all that useful if there's shortages and might not be good for your health and the health of the people that you encounter. So I'm going to be putting out more of these videos with more tips like this, but wise preparation, stocking up enough, but not too much, and, you know, from a place of wisdom and not a place of fear. So thank you, everyone. Good luck, and may we all be well and help everyone feel connected, loved, safe, and okay, because there are so many ways that it's the mass panic and the way that we are with one another that are as scary to me as the virus itself, right? We, it's so important that we keep ourselves well connected, whole, grounded, and happy. It makes the world a better place and it makes us healthier and stronger in our immune systems.